What is going on, guys? We are back with another video in the Packers Primetime 2.0 franchise, and it is here. The Super Bowl. We are in the damn Super Bowl. This is the first time we've been in a Super Bowl in a franchise video in Jesus. I don't even know. The last time we played uh, Primetime 1, I guess, last year, the Falcons. Uh, this is our chance to win one. Uh, the team is looking insane, of course. Uh, defense, obviously the offense is pretty much max. Defense, there's a little bit of need, but for the most part, we're looking pretty good. There's obviously some guys that can make some mistakes here and there. The defensive line could get better, but as of right now, this is easily a championship roster. And uh, we came off of uh, beating the Seahawks by quite a bit. We just had a, a very good uh, finish to the game with the defense, forcing a lot of turnovers, 38-17. Uh, to 17. Also, because of how it feels, I'm not saying it's been an easy road, but just to make it even that more challenging, we're going to bump the AI by three in every category. Yes, I know. That's cr Am I remembering things? Three. Three, mate. You said three. I mean, we're... Hopefully. I mean, I don't even remember, to be honest. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, defense or the opposing team should have a little bit better of a chance against us. We have the scout. Did we already see if there was a story or not? Draft stories. Uh, Craig Way. Let's, uh, he's a little night night owl. I, I feel your way, Craig Way. Get it? Like, I feel your way, Craig Way. So, uh, Sean Utech, potential uh, successor to Aaron Rodgers, is an early first, the number one ranked talent in the draft which is uh, definitely something to be thought about. Uh, I think, you know, being Super Bowl weekend, I think we should let all this slide. I don't think we should really focus on this. So we all know Phillip Rivers and the Chargers, their offense, for whatever reason, just dominates in sim. We're almost a 99 overall. Uh, we will be using the Patriots playbook because this is, this is a very important game. And uh, also to note, the Chargers were ranked the number fourth best pass rushing squad. Only number 25 in picks, though. So uh, their turnover ability isn't the greatest, but obviously sacks create punts and also create turnovers because you're going to be overcompensating. So that's the biggest issue is can we stop Joey Bosa? I just want a clean game. Just hope this isn't the game where we decide to fumble a thousand times and throw some wild wacky balls for picks uh, very similar season on both quarterbacks uh arm here although you could notice well you can't really notice but Rodgers was more accurate here it is the biggest game what everyone fights for got a lot of youngsters on this squad but they're very talented youngsters can we get the w this team looks hyped come on come on lads this team might look a little different next year because there's going to be some guys that we can't afford and then, you know, we might replace through the draft. Phil Rivers and the Chargers on the other side. They've got some talent as well. They don't match up nearly as well with us as we do with them because we pretty much match up with every team in the league. Uh, this coach off to the greatest coaching career of all time, a 28-4 record. Anthony Lynn, however... 27 and 22, not looking nearly as good. But if he wins a Super Bowl here, it'll look pretty damn good on him. Rodgers getting pumped. Rodgers getting ready. Let's get this thing going. The kick is underway. And can we get a good play early? And the fullback, Ortiz, pops him. And it's a run early on. And they're going to find some room big time. Good job, Clinton Dix, bringing it on for a gain of 15 they're going to throw it on second down, or second down, first down, to the outside, wide open, and there's another first down. But we are pretty much prepared for it. And I hesitate. And he's open underneath. That's my freaking job. And there's a fumble, and I pick it up with Josh Jones. That's a clear-cut fumble. Vic Beasley stands him up and rips the ball away. Gonna throw it, and there's Cooper. There's Cooper. He's got room. Cooper's got room. I don't know if he's going to finish it. And Cooper finishes for a touchdown. 74-yard touchdown. This team is too good. Ooh, and there's a wide-open player again. 
And there's another wide open receiver. It is not a run. Over the middle is kind of open here. Underneath is wide. And Melvin holds on, even with Nicholson right there. Another first down. All right, Artie Burns, you got a pretty big uh, challenge on your hands. And I I left him because I pretty much had to. And what is Clinton Dix doing? And I don't know, I don't know what happened. I super sim the special teams. And we have another score. Apparently, uh, Franklin Spellman decides to return one for 100 yards. It's going to cause problems later, especially if they want to score. And I'm getting blocked majorly here. And there's another first damn down. Screw it. Now we're gonna we're gonna keep Gary out of this. There's a good block, and there's a good truck move. Made a mistake. Somebody's get there. Yes, Artie Burns. And there's an injury. Is it Philip Rivers? He's wide open over the middle there. Wide open, but he underthrows him, and Lolito gets a pick. Ah, oh, damn. I thought that was going to be an easy touchdown. I really did. He was open earlier, and he just didn't throw it for some reason. Underneath again, Devontae drops it. I wouldn't even be able to live with myself if I was Devontae. And poor, I mean, that Porcher makes that catch. Devontae can't make his catch. What a joke. Good receiver. Today will be blocking Armour, and he catches it in possession. It's not a guarantee for him, and he made it. That's a good throw. Devontae, great catch. Not sure how this is going to go. Perfectly, because Porcher's a burner. There's a touchdown. We are now up by 14, assuming we make the extra point. If it's the Super Bowl and you're not up by 35 in the fourth, you haven't won the game yet. Wide open on the outside. Huge hit by McKinnon, but still first down by Keenan Allen. McMullen, come on. Oh, what a throw, and there is a score. There's an injury timeout. Don't know who the hell it is, but perfect throw, and that's a touchdown. Only up by seven, our ball, but trying to make a play happen. Not really getting huge yardage, but getting a little bit here and there with Suggs. Oh, thank God it was deflected. I think that might have been a pick six. I'd be willing to say that that probably wouldn't have been a pick six. And an instant pressure up the middle. Five-man rush, and they still played perfect coverage. They did miss their extra point, by the way, but still. Perfect chance right now to uh, cut the deficit to nothing. I'm on him, and there you go, Vic. McMullen, good job. Come on, McKinney, bring him down. Third and ten, we got to get off the field here. And he's wide open on the outside, and come on, Vic Beasley. Another sack for Vic Beasley. That's what I'm talking about. I know it might have worked for Malcolm Butler, but there's still a damn good chance you're coming off this team, Vic. Still a damn good shot. But obviously he doesn't know that. <laughs> he doesn't watch the videos. Good blocks. And Porch has got a chance to burn. Porch has got a chance. Trying to slip through. He fumbles. And I think the Chargers recover. What a game changer that is. Porcher returns it for amazing yardage. And wide open underneath. Huge hit, and there's a fumble itself. I would debate that that wasn't even a catch. We can just get some pressure. No pressure. Wide open underneath. There's nobody in the vicinity. That doesn't even trip him up. What? Underneath, that's kind of my coverage. And Keenan is still going down to the two. Two-minute warning, and they are going to tie this game up. Vic, and he's going to let him right in for a touchdown. Our 14-point lead has officially disappeared to a one-point lead. No, we can't. Porter and Rodgers misses him wide open. Oh, on the move! Cooper! That's in, but I wish I would have gotten that score. There we go. Showed a lot of patience there as well. Underneath, Suggs wide open. Gets out of bounds, gain about nine. And I think they're giving the lane with Suggs. We're going to take it. We're going to take the lane. What are we doing on this offensive line? Rodgers rolling out to the left. Rodgers into the end zone. Still has the speed, scores the touchdown. Clutch right before halftime. 
28 to 20 on half of the Super Bowl. This is a, it's been a pretty good one. The second quarter was um, very good for the Chargers, scoring I believe 13 points. And uh, we'll take a look at the halftime show if there actually is one. I can't really remember. Halftime stats look as follows. They're leading us in yardage, but per play we are better. We also have one extra takeaway. And of course, you can see the stats, see the gameplay. Philip Rivers has been pretty much on point everywhere. Vic Beasley, huge fumble there. That was absolutely brutal for them. But obviously, they got one on us as well. That was a great play. First play off of that fumble. Cooper down the field for a 76 yard gain for the touchdown. Starting the score off nicely. Of course, over the middle, Hunter Henry pretty much walking into the end zone after I blow the coverage. Getting the game all tied up. Kick return touchdown. Didn't get to see it. Lolito. Very huge play. As they were, uh, you know, driving. And they had a guy potentially open for a touchdown. 14-7. to Rodgers on the play action. Finds a wide open porcher. 21-7. to First uh, quarter was very good for us. And then, of course, we kind of struggled in the second. And the Chargers took advantage of that. 21-13 to after the missed extra points. And then, of course... Uh, Rodgers rolling out to the left after a 21 to 20 game gets the score and that's where we leave off starting the second half with the ball hoping to uh, at least continue the way they've played on offense defense we obviously want to get a little bit better but will we be able to I don't know and Spellman has a chance to return he's got one already for a score got to give him another chance and not really a great return but it was worth the risk. Third and five, Ty Montgomery on the field. Porcher. Can give me a shot with Porcher here, potentially. Ty Montgomery, quick throw. Ty cannot get the yards, and that's going to be a punt. And, of course, he catches it with Lito right there. I guess, to be fair, he might have decent stiff arm. And wide open. Clint Dix, I don't know what that tackle was. All the way down to the 12. Phillip River is on par for over 500 yards this game. And that's a huge play. Putting a little bit of risk here. Putting a lot of DVs on the field. Ooh, and they look like they're, they're perfectly prepared for this. And, of course, Kevin King jumps right out of the way. Actually, I don't even think it was Kevin King. It was someone else right there, and they just completely moved out of the way. I feel like we have the ground game locked. And right up the middle. I can't get there. And they miss it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Bit of a fluke play, but we'll take it. Up by two. And that's an insta shed on the outside from Bosa to the best right tackle in the league. The outside. And, of course, Devontae can't catch it. Perfect coverage by Casey Hayward. I had X, but I can't make that throw. Let's take a look at this thing. I mean, that's that's a really hard throw to make. Got a guy on my left side here. I probably should have just taken it. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, you look at this. That's 10 yards of closing space from a 30-yard throw. That might have been picked off. It would have been close. But right as they threw it, you know, Lester here was ready for it. Vic Beasley with his third of the game. Let's disguise it. We just need to get back. They go the fullback dive, be safe, and Kenny tells him, hey, it's not that safe. You watch yourself. Make that throw, Rodgers! Damn it! Devontae Adams. I'm not saying that's a score because, you know, it's a tough throw, but that's a huge play miss by us. That's a good throw. Adams holds on, and that's to the 25-yard line. Perfect throw. And Armour takes it to the 10. That's a bad spot to be in, but hey, it's better than not being in the goal line. Got Cooper over on the outside. Hopefully, maybe get some room. Rodgers running. Going to have to take a hit. Don't fumble. Thank you. Only a gain of two, but man, I really want a touchdown there. Pick that. Clinton Dix. Where's the jump? Where's the effort? That's so disappointing because I felt like he had that. McMullen up the middle. And a combined sack effort forces a third and long. I'm going to use your Artie Burns. 
Oh. Ooh, good play. Good play by uh by the defense just to make it a tough throw. Sugg is going to give him a hard running opportunity here. Oh, Suggs is gone. Come on, run him over. Good play by Suggs. Going to play action. I think we uh, drew them in enough. Wide open Porcher. That could be a score. That could be a score into the end zone. He came with the blitz. The play action worked perfectly. Don't see them running in here, but they could. You never know. McMullen. And I missed him. He's out of bounds anyways. Over the middle, and the white man makes the play. Damn. Made the play for them. Underneath. Pretty much everyone's open. Good play. Schaffer again. Damn it. Another first down. Outside. Make that tackle. Down to the one. I think that was a favorable mark for us. But this could take us into the two-minute warning here. Pressing at the line. And perfect blocks on the run, of course. 205 in the fourth. I would love for us to have a chance to return this because I could try and waste enough clock to take this to the two minute. Might be a risky move, but with Porter, I'm going to try, or Spellman, I'm going to try my best to keep this. And one second remaining. That could be the difference between a Super Bowl win and a Super Bowl loss. Slants. And he, oh, why? Goes off the back of my guy's helmet. I ran with Rodgers because I have the lane, and then I was like, wait a minute, no. To the outside, wide open, and easy first down. 17 yards gain for like a six-second loss. We're just not playing good coverage. McMullen, damn it. Get there. Good tackle, lads. There's only so much I can do. We're running a six-man blitz. If I had Josh Jones there, that was game. I would have sealed the game there. But it was Gary and I forgot. Yeah, we got too much of our backups in. Oh, but so do they. Screw it. We're going to let it happen. Wide open. And he fumbles. And he recovers at the... You got to be kidding me. The Chargers are the luckiest team in the world. 24 seconds left. They take the lead. You've got to be kidding me. Oh! Artie! Damn it! If I take that back for six, that's a game. We win. I'm not returning this if I, unless I have to. And I have to. It's all right, though, because it's going to be a decent return. And Ty Montgomery makes a great play. Four seconds wasted, gaining 23 yards technically, or maybe 18. We haven't run this play all game. Good old play action deep outs. I just need blocks. Porcher and a face mask. Taking us all the way to the 18 on one play here. We're right down the middle. I mean, if I could get this clock down a little bit more, I really don't even want to kick the field goal, to be honest. If I don't have to, I won't. And there's a score. Just like that, the offense comes alive. I legit thought we were going to lose the game. When he recovered his own fumble for a score, I was like, yep, that's the game. It's over. And Porcher comes alive again, and that's a two-point conversion. Ty Montgomery, are you serious? We get some pressure. Base pressure from three guys underneath. I'm deep. To the other side. And one second left. One last throw. I'm actually going to blitz uh, McKinney off the edge here. No pressure. That's going to be short. Please. And we win the Super Bowl. There it is. Phillip Rivers threw for over 500 yards, and it was not enough. Tom Brady and Phillip Rivers are uh, our best pals, apparently. And we win the Super Bowl in probably, honestly, this greatest Super Bowl, almost one of the greatest Super Bowls ever played. You can't put that many points up and have that score change right at the end of the game and not call it one of the greatest. 
because it was. It was an insane one. Ever since the second, maybe the first quarter was a little boring, but the second quarter, very intense. Third quarter, maybe a little boring again, and then the fourth quarter, beautiful. Beautiful. All the makings for a great game. Suggs, clutch. I mean, the blocks were perfect at the end there. That was an amazing run call. I did not want it to come down to a field goal at all. I, I figured it would lose doing that. Porcher has been huge. Porcher is my MVP, honestly, other than that damn fumble he had. Look at this. Now, fumbles, falls into the end zone on top of the ball, and I believe that was Malachi Dupree, our old receiver. Uh, not really our old receiver, but he was there for a little bit. McKinnon was voted the MVP of the Super Bowl. I don't even know what his stat line was. Doesn't even want to show us. The first time I've ever watched, like, fully the Super Bowl, like, celebration for a team that I actually used, like, fully through. We win the bowl. Now the question remains, can we become a dynasty? I know this team might look a little differently, but is this a dynasty team? I don't know. It's a great squad, but we had our ups and downs. Downs of late, kind of. Phillip Rivers played his heart out, and unfortunately it was not enough. The turnovers they had were too much. Phillip Rivers was pretty perfect, but so was Rodgers. Rodgers missed eight throws. So did uh, Phillip, but he had a lot more attempts. Three touchdowns to zero picks. Phillip did throw one pick early, and that you know that could have been the difference. I mean, obviously it was a huge difference. Uh, Gordon fumbled. Suggs had a pretty damn good game. Uh, no backup. I mean, obviously they're fullback, but no backup touched the ball from either team. Porcher is my Super Bowl MVP, clearly. Their receivers did better than ours, technically. Cooper was pretty solid as well. Uh, defensively, what was the stat line looking like? So Vic Beasley, three sacks. Actually, no, my MVP probably would be Vic Beasley. McMullen with two. Uh, Joey had one, but he was pressuring us all game. We got a lot of pressure that game. Lolita with his pick. Kicking, McManus was one for one. And then return yarded Spellman. A huge kick return touchdown that we didn't even get to see. Obviously, it was you know, a generated one, so they won't let you look at it, but... What a Super Bowl. What a finish to this season. It's been a magical one. What, 14-2? and two? Who the hell is a Dylan Jowers? There's a lot of things to do, but I am not going to touch even a single single bit of that. Not even going to um, sim it. So next video will be us starting all this and probably the entire offseason. So 14-2 uh, and two to the 9-7 and seven Chargers, and we are the winners. We are the Super Bowl champions of the world. And Suggs is actually a pretty damn good overall, but Ty Montgomery, you're not going to be the starter, bro. Do we also see who retired? Martellus Bennett is still here. Someone's retiring, I thought. I have no idea, honestly. Maybe one week we'll know. But yeah, it is an instant classic, I believe. I uh, agree. 44-39, a crazy game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around for the entire season. We finally got a Super Bowl win, and we upped the sliders. You could tell they were not easy. You know, there was a couple of um, plays that you know worked for us. We ran that play action deep post, which works for a lot of people. We ran it only once, and it came up big, but it was very close. Instead of throwing to the right, down right, if I would have just thrown in normally, it would have been a pick from the free safety, and we would have lost the game. So... It was a crazy one. Hope you guys come back for the next video, which will be the start of Season 4. I don't think I've ever gotten to a Season 4 on any series, so that'll be interesting. Uh, and tomorrow should be an Express video and then a rebuild on Sunday and then maybe a Far Cry video on Sunday. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, i said that about 50 times. See ya!